Of course, one of the benefits of using a service desk is being able to repeatedly do the same process over and over with a service request. However, we don't always need to use these for IT. IT requests are common. It's set up a new computer, I need a battery replacement, I need new hardware, something like that's fine. But sometimes you can extend that beyond the information technology group. In fact, some of the human resources groups are great places to do this. Let me show you an example. So let's say I'm a sales manager and I need to initiate a new hire. What I can do is I can go to the service catalog. I can scroll down for new hire request. So the new hire's name is John Doe. He's a senior account manager. He'll be starting in June. He works in sales. I'm the approving manager. Full time in New York in the sales department. Cool, that's it. Then all we have to do is request it. And there we go, right at the top, our new hire, John Doe, starts on June 24th. So now that we've submitted the request, our HR manager can go ahead and grab this request in their queue. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. From the portal view, you can see that here's the case and it has four subtasks. So let's go ahead and open it up. So here we have a view of the case, so we can actually scroll down, go to the process. And since this is me, I can approve the process and it's moved on to the next level. Approved for hire, done. So from here, it'll go through, and I approved it, it'll go through the human resources queue, Nate and Lauren will approve it. Then once they approve it, it'll go through Anthony and or Spencer and their approval, and then through the process. Because something like a new hire is a repeatable event, it's something that asks for the same information every single time, goes through the same approval chain every single time, it's perfect for setting up as a service catalog item. Other ones also include stuff like maybe changing your beneficiaries. Maybe you got married, maybe you had a child, maybe you just have a general life event you need to change things. So you can do that also as a service catalog item. So again, you go to your service catalog and then you look for the items in there. The one we're gonna use is a life event beneficiary change. So me, acting as John Smith, had a major life event. I got married on June 30th. and I work in San Francisco and I work for the IT department. So I can go ahead and request that. That again, since it is a service catalog item, gets sent to the human resources group. So if I look at this request as if I'm the human resources manager, I can go ahead and open that request. Acting as the HR manager, I can go ahead and move it through the process by just checking the boxes. approved, assigned back to incident requester. So this is a couple quick examples. Now, IT is really good at this. We've been doing it for a number of years and have automated processes. I need a port activated, I need a phone number swapped, something like that. But think about these for your grand scale in your organization, something like human resources or events or you know facilities. Any of those can work with this. So I encourage you to go ahead and reach out with those teams and see if there's some process that you can incorporate into your service desk solution.